Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun to be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! Jumbo from Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort, where the wilds of an African savanna meet the comforts of a deluxe resort. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is an African themed resort at the Walt Disney World Resort and is located in the Animal Kingdom Resort area adjacent to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom Lodge recreates the feel of a South African Wildlife Reserve Lodge. Rooms follow the Corral African Village design, a semi-circle concept offering a view of a live safari grazing animals such as giraffes, zebras, and antelopes from many rooms and resort overlooks. It's themed to an African Wildlife Preserve, which gives guests the opportunity to view grazing wildlife outside their rooms and public areas in the resort within proximity of the animals conveying the feeling of being in an African savanna. Directly in front of us here is the bus stop for Disney's Magical Express. And there's a bench while you wait for your bus. Let's head up these steps here and check out the portico. Here's the portico with its large vaulted ceilings and its oversized chandeliers. Straight ahead here is Jumbo House. It contains the lobby, front desk, gift shop, restaurants, and guest rooms. But before we take a look at that, let's go over to our right hand side and check out the bus stop. Let's head down to the bus stop by taking this rampway down. Here's a sneak peek at Zawadi Marketplace's merchandise offerings. Here's the Zawadi Marketplace. And if we look just over to our left hand side, here are some doors that go inside the Zawadi Marketplace. But before we take a look at that, let's go see the buses. The theme here at Disney's Animal Kingdom is complete, even with an African campfire. Continuing to go down the ramp. Here's a sign for the Walt Disney World Shuttle Bus Station. And on the left hand side, here's the bus stop. Here's a quick look at the bus stop with the Animal Kingdom bus and Disney Springs bus behind it. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge buses go to all four theme parks, both of the water parks, and also Disney Springs. Now that we've seen the bus stop, let's head back up to Jumbo House. We're going to go back up the way we came and walk up this ramp here. We're going to go past Zawadi Marketplace. Up ahead is Bell Services and Valet. But if we make a right turn here, we've arrived back at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. We're going to go through these double doors here and we're immediately greeted by a nice floral display on the left hand side and we're going to continue through the second set of double doors into this warm, rich, and inviting lobby. Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is six stories tall. You enter the impressive lobby on the third floor of the resort. Throughout the lobby there are examples of authentic architecture and design from thatched ceilings to golden tones of an African landscape. Rich wood tones surround a large mud fireplace and natural lighting will celebrate both dawn and dusk. But let's continue up ahead here and check out the lobby. And here's a view of the grand lobby here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Over to the left hand side is the front desk for check-in and look at how long this lobby is. Overhead here is a suspension bridge. We're gonna go traverse that in a moment. And we just came up to a directory here for Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. At Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House they have the Ozima Pool and also Sunset Savanna, Arusha Savanna, Ozima Savanna, an ostrich trail, a kudu trail, a zebra trail, and a giraffe trail. 
But now, let's go see if we can check out the Zawadi Marketplace and see if it's open. And we're headed towards the main entrance. We took those double doors to come into the lobby here. But if we make a quick left, we're going to head over to the Zawadi Marketplace and see if it's open. And here's the Zawadi Marketplace. It appears the Zawadi Marketplace is not operating today. The sign says, please visit Johari Treasures at Kadani Village. We're just peeking through the windows of the Zawadi Marketplace. The main lights are turned off, but the mood lighting is still on. We could just make out the display. Now let's head over to the elevators. Let's see if we could head up to the fifth floor. Follow me. We're just coming up to the elevators. We just have to make a quick right hand turn and we'll be there in a moment. We're greeted by four elevators and we're gonna hit the button here and we're gonna go up to the fifth floor. Push the button, I hear a tone. And just over to our left hand side, the elevator is just open for us. And hit the button for the fifth floor. And we've arrived on the fifth floor. The elevator doors are opening now. And we're going to proceed here and make a left. And here's a quick look at the Jumbo House lobby. And we can get a closer look at these oversized chandeliers themed to African shields. But now, let's go check out that suspension bridge. We're just walking down the hallway now. And we're going to make a left here, just around the corner. And we're going to come up to this suspension bridge. Here it is, that suspension bridge. And here's a view of the lobby from the suspension bridge. And just outside is the Arusha Overlook. But we'll go check that out in a moment. While we're here, let's go check out the interior guest hallways. Let's go. And we'll just head back across the suspension bridge. And we're going to make a left here at the corner. Just making a left. And we're going to quickly proceed and make another right. As soon as we go through these double doors here, we're going to make an immediate right. And we're just going to take a quick look at the guest laundry room. You could just see the machines right through the window. But let's back up and head down this hallway here. And just on the left hand side is a shield adorning the hotel room door. If we look through the glass, there's the Ozima pool. And if we look behind us, we could see the savannah. Now let's go back to the main level of the lobby. And now let's go check out the Sunset Lounge where you can wait for your airplane or bus. We're just going to make a left here and go check out the Sunset Lounge. There's African artwork all over the lobby. We're going to go down the ramp here and just take a quick look. And we're going to make a left and head outside this door here. And we just came to the Animal Overlook. It appears there's an Ancole cattle right out there on the savannah having its dinner. Now let's go check out the Asante Terrace, just over to my left hand side. Through those double doors, just up ahead, is the Asante Terrace. We're going to go through these doors here. And here's the Asante Terrace, where you can relax in style, in a rocking chair. Out in the distance are some animals. If you look closely, you can see them all gathered together in a little herd. Here's a look at the exterior Jumbo House with the Arusha fire pit. And just up ahead here is a fireplace and an oversized hearth, but it doesn't look like it's operating today. And if we look just over to the left hand side, there's some steps here. These steps will take us down to the Arusha Rock Savannah Overlook. Let's go down the steps now. We're just coming off the steps and let's take a quick look over my right hand shoulder. We're going to look at the level that we just came from right up there. But if we continue off to the left hand side, we're going to go through those double doors. And we're going to go through these double doors here to go outside. We just came out of the double doors behind me. Up ahead is the Arusha fire pit. And over to the left hand side 
is the Arusha Savannah Overlook. Here's some nice rocking chairs to enjoy the view of the Savannah. Here's a view of the exterior Savannah guest rooms. And here is the Arusha Savannah. Some African artistry carved into the rocks representing giraffes. But let's continue over to the right hand side and check out the rest of the Savannah. And over to the right hand side are rooms that overlook the Savannah. And if you look just up ahead, way off in the distance, very hard to see, are some animals including a giraffe just lounging around. Here's some rock formations that we're going to walk under and go look at the rest of the savannah. Here's a cozy fire pit for the evenings. And just up ahead is another view of the savannah with the guest rooms in the background. Some of the animals you could expect to see on the savannah are the marabou, the impala, and the zebra. But now, let's go back the direction we came and head back into the Jombo House. Here's a quick look at the backside of Jombo House before we go back inside. And we're going to go through these double doors here. Now we're back inside Jombo House and we're going to go up these steps. And we're just approaching the top of the steps. And we're going to make a left hand turn here. Have a look back at the lobby. But we're going to make another left and we're going to head over this direction here. And we're greeted with a pedestrian bridge and we're going to walk over this bridge. What makes Jumbo House so incredibly interesting, it has multiple levels everywhere. Follow me and I'll show you what I mean. And we're just coming off the bridge now and we're going to make a left. And here's a little terraced balcony, bridge, pathway with some steps down here. And we're just coming to the base of the steps now and we've come to the Victoria Falls Lounge but sadly, it doesn't appear to be operating today. Down below is Boma, but we'll check that out in a moment. We're gonna go down these steps here, and if you look carefully, just over to the right-hand side, there's Victoria Falls. We're just coming up the steps now, and if you look over to your left-hand side, there's Victoria Falls again, and just off in the distance is Boma. Now we've come up to the BOMA check-in desk, but sadly, BOMA's temporarily unavailable today. And look at the numerous levels here at Jumbo House. We just came off those steps there, and just behind the steps are some restrooms. Off to the left-hand side are some telephones. And we're going to proceed over to my left-hand side. Up ahead is Jiko. But sadly, as it turns out, Chico is also temporarily unavailable. Just off to my right hand side are some elevators, but directly behind me are some double doors. And here are the double doors. We're going to go through these double sets of double doors to go outside. Just behind me are the double doors that we just came through. Off to the right hand side is Chico, and just down here is the Ozima Springs. These springs performs a stream and heads down past the pool and down into the savanna. We'll go check that out in a moment. But on the left hand side is Boma, just over here. And we've come up to this directional sign. If we continue straight ahead, it'll take us to Simba's Cub House, the Mara, Game Arcade, and the Waiting Pool. If we choose to go right, it'll take us to the Playground, Fitness Center, and the Overlook. Let's go to the right-hand side. And here's a map of the Ozima pool. We're going to follow the pathway here off to the right-hand side. We're going to continue going down this pathway. But if you make a quick left, here's the Ozima pool. Let's take a quick look. And here's a quick look at the Ozima pool with the resort guests relaxing and having fun. We're going to continue down this pathway to the Akuna Matata Playground. Before we see the playground, let's make a quick right and check out the Zahanati Massage and Fitness Center. We're going to go through these double doors here. And we've arrived at the Zahanati Massage and Fitness Center. 
Just over to the left hand side is the entrance. And if you look through the glass doors, there's some fitness equipment. But let's reverse our direction and go out the doors we came and go check out the playground. Just up ahead is the back of the water slide. And we're gonna make a right real quick. And just before we get to the playground, here's a quick look at one of the spas. And here's a spa for grown-up explorers. Here's the back side of the water slide with the guests having fun. The theming's so good here, it feels like we're in an African savanna. And we've come up to the Akuna Matata playground for the junior explorers. Just around the corner from the playground is the Animal Overlook. Let's go see that. And we've come up to these steps. We're gonna go up them and check out the Animal Overlook. Here's a look at the Greater Flamingo, the Water Buck, and the African Spoonbill. Oh, and look at this, Greater Flamingos at the Overlook. Let's go take a closer look at the Greater Flamingos just around the corner on my right hand side. Look at these guys. They're so fun and fancy free. Down below is that little stream that we saw the little waterfall up by Jico. And it continues underneath this little bridge over to the Greater Flamingo section. So peaceful. Here's the Ozima pool again, and off in the distance is Jumbo House. And just behind me are the Greater Flamingos. Just over to the left hand side is the Ozima Springs watering hole. But we'll check that out in a moment. We're going to go check out another spa here. We're going to make a right around the pathway here. And here's a second spa for grown up explorers here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. And there's another animal overlook here on the savanna where you could see giraffes, Thompson's gazelle, and Rupal's vulture. Way off in the distance are a couple of giraffes laying down on the ground. They're a little hard to see, but they're out there. Now let's go check out the Ozima Springs watering hole. And we've come up to the Ozima Springs watering hole. Here's a quick example of the menu items they have to offer. The Ozima Springs watering hole pool bar has entrees available from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And they offer a chicken Caesar salad, a ham and cheddar sandwich, a tuna salad wrap, and an all beef chili cheese hot dog. Now, let's go check out the Mara. Let's make a left here and head around the corner. And just up on the left hand side is a ping pong table. And if you look straight ahead here, there's cornhole. And who doesn't like a game of cornhole here at the Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge? Up in the distance is the water slide where all the resort guests are having the time of their lives. If we look just across the way, there's some guest rooms. And over here on the right hand side, there's the main building of Jumbo House. Over on the right hand side here is the waiting pool. Let's go look at that. And here's the waiting pool for junior explorers. And here's Pumbaa's Fun and Games, an arcade here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. If you look over to the left hand side, here are the double doors for entry, but at the moment, Sadly, it's temporarily closed. Over here on the right hand side, you have lockers, restrooms, and just up ahead on the right hand side is the Mara, a quick service restaurant here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Here's the Mara, and over here on the left hand side are some outdoor dining tables to enjoy your meal. But we're gonna go straight ahead here and check out the menu. Here's the menu for the Mara. The Mara at Disney's Animal Kingdom has a souvenir specialties. For example, a resort refillable mug for $19.99. And they also offer dinner specialties, like a roasted half chicken for $14.49. And in addition, they have a couple of entrees, a signature blend bacon cheeseburger for $12.99 and a signature blend cheeseburger for $11.99. Here's the front doors 
and a quick shot of the interior dining room of the Mara. But now, let's follow the covered pathway back into Jumbo House. Over on the right hand side is Boma again. Over on the left hand side is the Ozima Springs Pool again. We'll take one last look before we head back to Jumbo House. Just up ahead on the left hand side is Jiku again with the Ozima Springs. And we're going to go through these double doors and head back into Jumbo House. And we're just going to head through the double doors here. We just hit the button for the elevator, waiting for the elevator to open. We're going to hit the third floor to go to the lobby, bus stop, Zawandi Marketplace. And the elevator doors are opening now. We're going to make a quick left here. Return to the lobby. There's that directory that we saw earlier. And we're going to make a left here and we're going to proceed through these double doors up ahead through the main entrance. We're going to go through these double doors and immediately we're going to go through the next set of double doors and now we're outside and we're just coming up to Disney's Magical Express bus stop that we saw earlier and we're going to head down these steps here. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.